Keep yes. our snack, that's for sure. Like a National Greasy Food Day was yesterday. So. Right, yeah, so we got to counter it with the yep. pumpkins and the yes. pumpkin puree. But I have a National Pumpkin Day graphic, a planner okay. to show y'all. Yep. Nice. So here's what we have going on for today. Lots of clouds, unfortunately, starting off with lots of fog as well, dense fog all across central Maryland. Temperatures right around lunchtime should be in the low to mid 60s. And then we're, we actually look to climb into the mid and upper 60s later on today. Not expecting to touch that 70 degree mark right around the Baltimore Metro because we have all these clouds in place and also talking about the potential for some isolated rain showers courtesy of a cold front. So right now our temperatures are currently standing in the upper 50s and the lower 60s this morning. Frostburg currently hanging on to the lower 50s at 51 degrees. Uh, currently Deep Creek sitting at 49 so the chilly spot out towards Western Maryland and Jarrettsville. Good morning to all of you sitting at 58. So visibility is quite reduced this morning seeing less than a mile less than a quarter mile right now in Parkton in the Hereford zone about a quarter mile being seen in Bel Air and seven miles being seen right now in Annapolis. So kind of a similar setup to what we dealt with yesterday and we're still dealing with some of that drizzle action out there. So grab the umbrella. You will certainly need it and make sure to use your low beams. So that fog is going to linger throughout 7 8 o'clock this morning. Temperatures are likely going to stay in the upper 50s as well, not dropping off too much right around sunrise. But I mentioned that we're dealing with some of that drizzle, that very light rain pushing through from south to north. You can see it sliding through Bel Air, Edgewood and mainly located over the Chesapeake Bay. Annapolis seeing some of these lighter raindrops and all the way down towards Bowie in Prince George's County. So taking a look at satellite radar, why are we dealing with these showers? It's because of this cold front that's currently sitting off towards our west. It's producing a fair amount of rain across portions of West Virginia up towards Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh and even out in the Ohio Valley. So it's heading closer and closer to us and we'll be likely seeing some of these rain showers right around midday as expected. So futurecast shows us staying cloudy with temperatures right around one o'clock in the lower to mid 60s and this rain is going to push through rainfall amounts are expected to be very light. So we're not talking about a widespread heavy rainfall event from this system. Uh, we're still looking at that extra cloud cover lingering throughout the evening drive and also as we head into around seven eight o'clock a few lingering showers can't be ruled out. It's right around 10 o'clock. We'll start to see clearing take place that cloud cover erodes as we head overnight into your Thursday and we bring back tons Tons of sunshine and cooler temperatures, more fall like as we head into your Thursday afternoon. But behind that cold front, our winds are going to increase out of the north, gusting up to 20 to even 25 miles per hour. That's going to help our temperatures dip down into the low to mid 60s as we wrap up the work week. Plenty of sunshine and lots of dry time for Halloween weekend. But for Halloween, we're going to sprinkle in some of those rain chances, especially during the time of trick or treating. Megan. All right, Stevie, and you were mentioning all